Imagine getting one of these for yourself this year, if not this Diwali. What would be on your list of priorities? A personal swimming pool or a balcony car park? These have been on offer for a while, but takers have been few, festive season or not. Take Lodha, its uber luxury project Trump Towers launched in August this year. A 77-storey tower at its flagship project The Park in Mumbai's upmarket Burley area. With three, four and five bedroom luxury options expected to be complete by 2018. Good quality uh, housing across price points continues to see very strong demand. We've seen a very strong response last last month when we launched uh, our, so, uh, the Trump Tower with Donald Trump. We had more than 60% of the units sold out in less than a month. We've been launching a couple of developments in southern Mumbai. So we approximately about 6-7 million square feet of new launches during the course of the rest of the financial year. Already, Loda has announced its designer property Loda Estrella in New Cuff Parade in Mumbai's central suburb Vadala. Designed by international interior designer Kelly Hoppin. Known for designing homes for the likes of Victoria Beckham and Hillary Clinton. My design is very opulent and luxurious but in a very zen, harmonious way. And I'm not changing that, um, bringing it to Mumbai because it works anywhere in the world. Estrella will have two and three BHK apartments as well as designer suites, expected to be delivered by 2018 as well. And there are others like Rustamji that launched its Uber luxury project Elements in Mumbai's suburb Andheri West, with three, four and five BHK options starting from 2,500 square feet. Replete with open deck areas and heightened ceilings that give a sense of space in the space-staffed commercial hub. We will be pretty much sold out um, on elements within the next eight months. Joining us uh, for further clarity on uh, the entire issue on the current status of luxury real estate is Omar Huja. He's CEO of Residential at JLL. What are the hubs of growth that we see? The capital market's doing well. Luxury is the biggest beneficiary in terms of straightaway, in terms of savings moving to luxury segment. We continue to be bullish on the segment for the next two to three years and we believe a lot more new launches which are lined up in uh, Bangalore or Bombay or uh, Delhi and specifically Chennai should do well and we've seen Hyderabad uh, is doing extremely well when it comes to luxury segment. <laughs>